Hello, welcome back to Rybrook TV. I'm Matt, and welcome to one of the more obscure models in the BMW lineup, the BMW X4. The X4 is BMW's entry into an ever-growing marketplace. This sort of coupe, but 4x4, but not 4x4, but coupe, but sporty, but utilitarian marketplace that's always growing. It's a slightly niche place to be. And actually, the X6 started it all many, many moons back. But why am I showing you the X4? Well, it's not long ago, the tail end of last year, undergone a bit of a facelift, a bit of a refresh to bring it up to date with BMW's latest design language. So. We'll start by looking at the front end. It's more angular, it's more aggressive, I think it looks more handsome. The kidney grills, of course, they are large, this is BMW after all, but they're now honeycomb. They're no longer the slats, so they're standard as honeycomb. Now that used to be reserved for BMW's M Performance models, but now it's filtered down onto the everyday X4. I think it looks really cool, and this one, is a 30D M Sport with the M Sport Plus pack. So it's got the gloss black grills down here. It's got slightly darker lights. And now the lights, full LEDs the whole way around. Now they have this signature design L in them as well. But I think the front just looks fresher. It looks a bit more up to date, more in line with the current design language. Has anything changed on the side? Let's go and have a look. Simple answer is no, not really. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the previous shape X4. We've got some slightly different design on the wheels. These are the 20 inch wheels. You can get 21s. And there are a lot of signature BMW design traits on this. So you've got the swage line, which runs through the door handles right down to the back. We've got the Hofmeister kink on the rear here. And you've got that now very well known sloping roof line of the X6 and the X4. Now, it's a bit close to the showroom, so I'm going to spin the car around and let's have a look at the rear. And just like magic, the car is the other way around. Now, I've got to be honest, the rear end of the X4 is probably my favourite. You've got these beautiful L-shaped LED lights here, which especially at night give the car some real presence. Now, the big change though with this LCI is down here on the rear bumper. Now, it doesn't help that this car is finished in carbon black because you can't really make out the differences. However, there's a more aggressive diffuser down the back here. And notice the exhaust pipes. They're now this large, overly kind of shape. That used to be only on the X4, M40D and M40i. But now, this is just a 30D, and this has those exhaust pipes. Gives it a real aggressive, more, more powerful feeling to the car. The rear bumper as well is slightly redesigned with these little triangular cutouts here. And of course, slope and roof line. Let's open the boot. Because you get a huge 525 litres of boot space with the second row of seats in place. Now all my camera gear and some camping chairs are all in here right now and there's plenty of space. It's absolutely cavernous. Now let's just shut the boot. Fully electric tailgate of course. Now before I go and jump inside the car and have a look at some of the new technical features, let me just pass to myself in voiceover to run you through the engines and the trim levels available on the LCI X4. The X4 trim lineup is as simple as it gets. It is available as an M Sport. And that's it. The M Sport X4 is only available with two diesel engines, a two liter four cylinder and a three liter six cylinder, both of which feature mild hybrid technology. You then have the M Performance variants, the M40i and M40d. At the top of the tree, you have the BMW X4 M Competition with a thundering 510 horsepower twin turbocharged six cylinder from the M3. Inside the new X4 feels pr pr pretty much exactly the same as the previous one. Ergonomically, everything is exactly where you'd expect it to be. This interior is so easy to fathom. You've got all your heater controls in here, which aren't on the touchscreen, which I love, love the physical buttons in here, makes it really easy and intuitive. One difference is we've now got a 12.3 inch infotainment screen in the center, which can run Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wirelessly. We've got a 12.3 inch again, 
digital drivers display directly in front of me, which can change depending on what driving mode you're in. And the quality and fit and finish of everything in here feels absolutely top draw. I've got to be honest, it doesn't really feel any different to the previous shape X4, however, which I suppose is a very good thing because it is, as I've already said, an incredibly easy interior to learn and get used to and live with on a daily basis. The space in here is pretty good as well. There's plenty of headroom here. In the back, there's plenty of room. However, if you're over six foot, you might just about start to hit your head on the roof. And the visibility out, considering you've got such a small rear window, is actually very good. But now I think we need to answer the question. Does the new X4 LCI drive any differently to the previous shape? Well, this, the simple answer to that is no, it feels exactly the same to me, which means it feels just like a BMW, just a little bit higher. It holds the road really well, the steering response is brilliant, and this 30D, oh, it has plenty of poke. So then, what are my thoughts? on the 2022 BMW X4, this LCI facelift. Well, I think the design has really stepped on the look of the X4, the interior quality is just as good as it was before, and now you've got added technology and refinement. And if you want any more details on the new BMW X4, please use the link in the description to contact one of our rival at BMW retailers. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come, and I'll catch you next time.